After several weeks of complete silence as us global players waited with bated breath for any bit of news about the Broly movie celebration, specifically, when exactly are we actually gonna get it? Team Doker has finally come through for us with a quick update on Twitter. And while I don't really think the news is that bad, I know some people are still gonna be disappointed by it. So why don't we go through it together? And there's actually two parts to this tweet. So the first part says, on global, we'll have Super Boo soon, certainly with the Punch Machine event. So first things first, STR Super Boo is coming soon. I can only assume that it's coming for the second part of the New Year celebration, which begins on January 16th. And the banner for his uh, Dokkan Fest will probably drop a couple days after that. So I'm gonna assume around the 18th to the 19th. But, you know, Super Boo is a good unit, but I don't think really a lot of people care about him. Most people are probably gonna skip the banner. And uh, if you do summon that, I only recommend doing like two to three multis and calling it a day because the real hype is really after that Dokkan Fest. And the second thing is the uh, Punch Machine event. So for those of you who don't really know what it is or what it's all about, I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video, but just for a quick overview, it's basically a new challenge where you're trying to do as much damage as possible through nukes, and we get stones for accomplishing certain milestones for damage. So that's always a good thing, more free stones for everybody, but that's not what we're here for, obviously. <laughs> we're here for the second part of this tweet, which says, the movie campaign will start at the very beginning of January, so no dual Dokkan Fest Gogeta slash Broly before mid-February. So here's the reason why, if you're a little bit out of the loop, um, I said that some people won't be disappointed by it. So in a previous video, I talked about the fact that I truly believed that the Broly movie celebration was starting on January 16th, and we will be getting Broly and Gogeta at the end of January, but I had really good reason for it because January 16th is when the Broly movie is released internationally, right? It has its international premiere. And for Japan, for JP, they got the beginning of their Broly movie celebration when the movie was released in Japan on December 14th. So I was like, logically, if they got their celebration when the movie was released in Japan, then we'll get our celebration when the movie is released internationally, right? It makes a lot of sense. And the second sign was the fact that the first part of the New Year celebration actually ends on January 16th. So I'm like, that date can't be a coincidence, man. It must be the fact that they're ready to announce the second part of the celebration as the Broly movie celebration because the 16th is when the first part ends and that's also when the movie is released internationally. But I guess I was wrong. I mean, I, feel, I just felt like there were a lot of signs pointing towards this January 16th launch of the celebration. And then, you know, a, a week and a half later is when uh, the Broly and Gogeta banners would drop after that. But it would appear that we are having the celebration delayed until February. Uh, specifically, we're probably going to get the new uh, story event with the free-to-play uh, Goku, the free-to-play Vegeta, and the free-to-play Broly um, at the beginning of February. And then the banners themselves, the dual talk contest with the Gogeta Blue and the full power Broly will be coming mid-February as Dokuner, Dokuner said. Now, <sighs> here's the thing. Some people are going to be disappointed by it because like I said, um, I, I told people <laughs> that it was coming at the end of January and a lot of people, you know, are just really impatient. They're like, I want this now. Honestly, I wanted it yesterday. I wanted it when Japan got it. So the fact that it's being delayed just sucks. But at the same time, if you want to be an optimist, I mean, the fact that it's being delayed just means that we'll have more time to save stones. And part two of the New Year celebration is definitely going to bring us more free to play stones. And if you skip Super Boo completely, which honestly I kind of recommend most people to do, then you'll have even more stones to spend on the, uh, <clears throat> oh my god, my voice, the Broly and Gogeta Dual Dokkan Fest. Um, so that's a good thing, right? And aside from that, I mean, it's really not that big of a delay. It's only about two weeks longer than most of us originally anticipated. And obviously, like, I wasn't the only one that thought that part two of the New Year celebration was going to be Broly and Gogeta, I think. A lot of people probably assume the same thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's really the update for today, guys. The Broly movie celebration is being pushed to February, the beginning of February, and then we'll get the banners sometime in mid-February. 
that's at least the timeline for now things could change along the way but just wanted to let you guys know that we do have some new information now because a lot of people have been asking about it like every single day uh, asking me on discord on instagram on the comments of my videos yo tiger any updates about global or broly and gogeta and i'm just like i don't really know i still think it's gonna be the second part of the celebration but at this point you know anything's possible so now we have our update and for those who care honestly i am actually really happy about this because for those who don't know which is like 99 percent of you i'm actually taking a trip to china at the end of january and i'm coming back in the middle of february so originally i was kind of scared that i was going to miss most of the broly and gogeta celebration on global which is you know my main side and uh that would really suck because that was going to be a lot of hype content that i was going to make for you guys right but now that it's being pushed I can actually get back and summon on the Broly and Gogeta Dual Dualcon Fest as soon as it drops and have some hype streams for you guys, some hype videos. So, I mean, it's, it's a selfish reason, I know, but I am personally really happy about it. But even if you guys aren't going back to your home country for a couple weeks in February, I mean, <laughs> it's still a good thing. Because like I said, you can stay, save some more stones and have more stones to spend on that Dual Dualcon Fest. Um, you know what? That's pretty much you know the update for today but if you guys are interested i am going to pop over to dbz space here and show you guys what the broly and gogeta banners look like so that if you're curious you can use that as a reference for what the banners will look like when they drop on global and of course there could be certain changes that happen um when they when they do come to global and honestly i kind of kind of hope you know they do make some changes because as they are right now these banners aren't super hype for me personally because i have a lot of these units rainbowed um but for newer players they're actually still very good banners don't get me wrong they're still very good banners and uh, you know what enough rambling for me let's just take a quick look at what these banners are so this is the gogeta banner and they should start off as uh three plus one discounted multis so you get you do three full price multis and then you get a free multi at the end and jp got it for like something like 10 days to, to 14 days. I forgot what the exact period, but it was a really, really long discount period. So you have a lot of time to actually do the discounts, but it's gonna be three plus one initially, and then it's gonna eventually turn into a regular banner after the discount period is over. So this is the banner. Obviously, everybody wants this man right here, the Gogeta or the AGL Super Gogeta that transforms into Gogeta Blue. And this man is so sick. Like <laughs> his, his super attack before transformation is cool, but once he transforms into Gogeta Blue, oh my God, it's just beautiful man it's freaking beautiful but anyways uh this is the guy that everybody wants that's the gogeta blue or the one that transforms into gogeta blue but i mean aside from that we also have some really good units in the super saiyan 4 gogeta super saiyan 3 go tanks we have this int gogeta who loki is kind of the worst gogeta in this game now but that's okay because he's still a monster in his own right it's just He's way outclassed by SDR Gogeta, by LR Gogeta, and AGL Gogeta as well. But still, like I said, really, really good unit. And uh, these two guys are hype as well. This uh, new Goku that, sh that Dokkan awakens into a Super Saiyan God Goku. And this new Vegeta that Dokkan awakens into Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And I think most people are going to be really gunning for this Vegeta because he's the first Super Saiyan God Vegeta in the game. And he's actually very good as well. Both of these guys are actually really good. The Goku... The Goku and the Vegeta are both very good units, um, but I think they are non Dokkan Fest exclusive, so they will be available to be summoned as an unfeatured unit on future banners. So if you guys don't pull them initially, don't freak out too much. You will have more chances in the future to pull them. But anyways, that's the banner. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about Super Saiyan 3 Goku. <laughs> he's a very good unit, very good unit. So here's, a, here's my issue with this banner. They're all really good units, but they're all like... I mean, aside from the new ones, of course, they're all like kind of older, you know, Dokkan Fest exclusives. Um, you got 120 leads, we got uh, the EZA Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is pretty old at this point too. I was really hoping they would bring in some of the newer uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive units like uh, AGL Turles. I mean, I guess Turles would make sen more sense on the Broly banner, but like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um... What are some other super ones? I don't really know. I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but you, know, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, I, I was hoping they would just give us some more of the newer hype Dokkan Fest exclusives, the newer category leads, even like Jiren or uh, UI Goku, for example. Those would have been better choices, I think, than in Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but 
I mean, <laughs> what can you really do, right? I think they were trying to go for this like Gogeta slash Fusions theme and uh, that's what they went with. I mean, it's good that there's not a ton of featured units because you do have a higher chance to pull the new Goku, the new Vegeta, or the new Gogeta. But yeah, I mean, like on Global, I have this guy, ra I have this guy rainbowed, I have this guy rainbowed, I have this guy rainbowed, um, and I have like, I have him with two dupes, I believe, so I, I just need like two more dupes, but like, I, I still wouldn't be that hyped about pulling him because it's not gonna make that much of a difference. I really just want this guy and these two guys. So, I mean, I really hope they make some changes to the banner and put in like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution or Full Power Goku or I don't know, like something else that's a little bit newer as opposed to this iteration. But like I said, man, if you're, if you're a newer player and you're missing some of these units, it is still a very good banner. It's just for older players, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dupe city. It's probably gonna be dupe city, right? <laughs> so that's gonna kind of suck. But anyways, that's the Gogeta banner. And we're gonna move on to the Broly banner real quick. So this is the Broly banner, and in my opinion, the Broly banner is actually a little bit more hype because uh, there's some. Actually, I mean, okay, you know what? <laughs> I, I, the reason I'm saying it's more hype is because of this guy right here. So obviously, this Broly is the most hype. This this Broly is the one that you want to pull. He is the main feature unit. And he's absolutely awesome. I absolutely love this unit um, on JP. He's so much fun to play with. He's AOE, so he kind of replaces LR Broly on your world tournament team, especially if you don't have LR Broly. But aside from that, he just looks awesome. He does a lot of damage. Um, he does, he gets so many additionals as well. He can, like, he can super up to three times a turn. And uh, the, the, the dude's just a monster. The dude's just a monster. But this guy is really hype as well, actually. So this is the Wrathful Broly that gets an easy A like, almost immediately. And this guy is actually so, so strong. Like, he's so powerful, man. I ran him with no dupes. Just free dupe open on a uh, full power team. And this guy was doing, like, 2 to 3 million damage. No dupes, by the way. No dupes. 2 to 3 million damage after taking 4 hits. So the way he works is he gets stronger with every hit, up to 4 hits where he's at his max power. And he just does, he's just so strong. Like, he's so freaking strong. So I'm actually really hyped about him, which is kind of the reason why um, I said this one's more hype for me. Like, this banner overall is more hype for me because um, he's he's by far the most hyped unit. I mean, uh, aside from the Pagogita and Broly um, on both of these banners. So, yeah. Uh, so we have these two guys. We also have the Paragus, who is actually very good as well. He Doken awakens into a Paragus and Broly, and he is an amazing support unit for pure Saiyans, I believe. And he also can do a lot of damage if you're facing against a movie hero's enemy, I think. I, th I think so, I think so. But anyways, that's the Paragus. And aside from that, I mean, I could use a couple dupes of this guy. Um, Omega Shenron honestly really scares me because I have enough in my box to rainbow a second copy and I really don't want to pull anymore. He is by far my most pulled Dokkan Fest exclusive unit in this game <laughs> and I'm just really scared to pull him. Um, this Broly is good as well but I think he gets a lot of hate and honestly hate in some places is not justified but also in other places it is kind of justified. Like they didn't really didn't have to make him such a glass cannon where when he gets 10 orbs, he actually has zero defense, which really sucks. He can do a lot of damage, but I think that his damage output does not justify how bad of a tank he is. Or, you know, lack thereof tank. Whatever, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. And uh Janemba is good as well, but obviously in Janemba is a lot better. I mean on JP at least with the EZA, so. And he's not that exciting either. And then we have a couple SRs. So those are the banners, guys. Like I said. It could have been better. It could have been better, especially for how hyped the celebration is and will be. I mean, they could have done a lot more with these banners, but like I said, it's always possible they make some changes on Global. Maybe they'll switch out, I don't know, Janemba for AGL Turles. Maybe I'm just dreaming, who knows. <laughs> Maybe they'll throw in like, um, I don't know, the hit. Heck hit, I don't know, maybe it's too soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, that's wishful thinking on my end because I really want tech hit and I spent like 700 stones on the banner, the Christmas the Christmas banner and uh, didn't pull him. So I really would like a second chance sometime soon, but probably not for this banner. I, if I'm being realistic, they're gonna keep the banners the same, but a man can always dream, right? But either way, either way, that's gonna do it for the video guys. Just want to let you guys know that, uh, don't, oh, 
Let's go back here. That Dokener told us that we will be getting Super Blue next, so probably for the second part of the New Year celebration, sometime around the 18th or so, um, with the new Punch Machine event, and then the Broly movie celebration with the Gogeta and Broly Duel Doka Fest uh, will begin at the beginning of February, and the banners themselves will drop sometime mid-February. And that is the current timeline. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this whole thing, whether you're happy because you have to save more stones, or whether you're disappointed because you have to wait a little bit longer. Either way, I don't think it's that bad, but uh, that's just my opinion. And that's gonna do it for the video. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But well, that's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.